Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Gamer Outcast Show Squadron. I am your host, Edgar's the name, and gaming's my thing. And so today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go back to a game that we started some time ago. And that game, ladies and gentlemen, is... The Long Dark, Episode 5. And, as you can tell, we're going to continue this gameplay of The Long Dark. And hopefully you stick around and you enjoy the content. And please feel free to leave some comments. Hate, love, whatever. I could take it all because I enjoy hearing from my audience. It actually helps quite a bit. So with further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get our game started with The Long Dark. And I shall be back. All right, so here we are with the long dark winter mute we're going to continue where we left off at and i have no clue where we left off at maybe you all do but i i don't it's been so long i do not know the controls so it's going to be fun and we're going to find out okay okay that pulls up the backpack aha the light source Go ahead and light us a light here. Yes, sir. Okay, I remember some of them, but not all of them. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and set this here. There we go. Uh, let's see. Seems to be like the mouse control stayed the same, so that did not uh, get changed. But I, I just wish, guys, I don't know what happened with... Uh, with my OBS settings, I wish I could figure out what happened, but it uh, definitely caused me some issues, and I wasn't allowed to continue uh, recording and streaming and stuff, so I do apologize for my not being able to do it in my absence. So, anyway, let's take our lantern. Let's go up here and explore, because I do not remember... Um, what time is it? Does it say the time? Turn off our lantern. Does not give us a time. Got a bed. Ah. So let's sleep an hour. And uh, see where that gets us. See if it gives us daylight or not. Like I said, I don't remember where I left off. Ah. We got daylight. Okay. There's a trunk here. What do we got? Decent cargo pants. Um, do we have any objective? Nope. Let's see. Mackenzie rescued an old trapper whose knowledge of Great Bear Island as well his as well his shortwave radio might be the key to finding Astrid. Enter the abandoned dam. Um, okay. So, wait a minute. What's this? Trapper's Homestead. A lookout. So, where's the dam? Might be the key to the finding Astrid. Okay. So, where's the dam? I'm a little lost. Uh, Mystery Lake. Broken Railroad. What is this? Maintenance Yard. Hunting Lodge. Okay. I'm saying to go up here. So which way do I go? Okay. So apparently that's where we need to go. I guess. I I don't know. I don't know, brother. Oh, boy. 
Let's see, we're going the wrong way that way. What do we follow the power line? Do we have a gun? If I remember, I think we did. Yes, we did. We've got ourselves a gun. It kind of looks like a... Uh, I don't know. Some kind of rifle. Maybe it's the uh, carbine. Maybe it's the M1. Possibly. I don't know, Rabbi. So I guess what we'll do is we'll follow these railroad tracks. Go up north. But it says a dam. I didn't find no dam nowhere. Damn that dam. But anyway, we'll just keep walking. Having a good time. Maybe sing us a little song. Maybe stand by me. You know, everybody knows that song. Everybody knows it. What the hell? Uh, okay. So it looks like we need to cut over to the left a bit. And go this way for a while. Find a way up into the mountains. We run? Oh yeah, well yeah, we can run too. Hell yeah. Okay. So... I really want to go up there to hunting or that, that watchtower because you know there's got to be probably ammo up there and stuff. So that's going to be a necessity to survive. Ah. Oh, great. I hear a wolf. And I see some deer and some rabbits. Damn, this is a place to be. Look at that. Ah. Nah, we'll save our ammo. Just to be on the uh, cautious side, we do not want to waste our ammo. Because if I remember right, the wolves on here are pretty, uh, pretty hostile. And they'll probably eat my face. going on up and we cannot go go on down here we have screwed up somewhere oh shall we have screwed up Okay, we're heading that way now, it looks like. Oh, fantastic. Oh, what the hell? What the hell just happened? What the hell was that? Whatever. Okay. I guess apparently you can't walk up inclines. If you do, you break your body parts, apparently. Whatever. We're going to get up here and find out what's up here. Uh. Oh, that's cool. We've got a sprained wrist. Right.
go get in this uh But he can walk upstairs. How the hell do you sprain a wrist by walking up a damn hill? Whatever. What do we got here? Oh, pork and beans. This is any good to eat. Oh, we're going to take it though. We'll take the firewood. We'll take the sewing kit. Okay, radio don't work. Got some trail boots. We got a bandage. What else we got? Eligible note. Well, let's read it. The text on this note is largely unreadable. If this message was meant for someone, hopefully they were able to decipher it. Fortunately, there are a handful of recognizable landmarks and a Old arrow pointing to a large X. Uh, okay. Well, that would have been okay. Oh, we got some beef jerky. Now we'll eat it. Recycle can. We got some paper. Uh, let's put, um... Put that in there. And that. Start a fire. Oh, beautiful. We've got warmth. Let's do us some cooking. Let's cook us, uh, cook us some peaches. Beautiful. 14 minutes till it's ready. Let's go ahead and uh, drink us a little water. A little water. Oh. oh, look, we got some accelerant. We got some more matches. We got some cloth. Cool. We've got nine minutes. Look, we got some wool socks. That'll come in handy. Uh, they're not that good a shape. Mm. Sexy. Sexy. Okay, so where do we need to go from here? We actually need to walk our way down, go to here. Oh, what the hell? Cute. You know what? We might go for that care package. Probably not going to be a good thing, but we're going to go to it anyway. We'll get our bellies full. We'll go ahead and eat that. Mmm, delicioso. Cool. All right, so what time is it, I wonder? Does it give me a time? That would be nice. I'd really hate to be lost, left out there in the dark. You know what I mean? Ah. <laughs> All right, well, I guess let's go ahead and save the game here. And we'll create a new save. We'll name this as, nah, we'll just create a new save. We'll name it as Story 1. How about that? All right, let's go out here and leave it open. So it'll be nice and cold when we get back. I still probably got a sprained wrist. I do. Um, but, 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 uh, let's go ahead and use it. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're good now. We got our gun. We're gonna go out here and not be scared. I'm gonna fight these wolves. Give him big one, two, right to the face. 
Okay, how the hell do we get out of here? Um... So yes, we'll go all the way back, go to the cache, grab it, it's probably got a key, and we'll probably have to come all the way back up here once again, open the box, and there'll probably be jack crap in it. Probably be a waste of time. But I'm willing to take that chance if you're willing as viewers to watch and enjoy it. We just need to get to the uh, railroad tracks. Wow, we're heading right down to it. Damn, that's nice. Doesn't look like we're going to go down that way very easily. Yeah, that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. I guess we'll just take the long way around. Okay. Now we gotta figure out where the hell we are. Okay. So there's our tracks. We just gotta remember that tree. Come up here by this tree and we should be okay. So let's go on back. We got a belly full of food. Our thirst is good. So fantastic. Do I have anything else that's broken? Can I craft some bandages? Yes, let's craft those. Oh, there's our sun right there. Top right hand corner. Okay, we've got some bandages, which is a plus. Got our trusty M1 Grand. Or some type of rifle. It looks like an M1. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. If anybody knows what kind of gun that is, leave it down in the comments. Because I'd like to know. It does kind of look like an M1 though. Pretty sure that's what it is. Pretty sure. Okay, we're almost there. As long as our temperature stays good, we'll be all right. We don't want to freeze to death. Beautiful music. Okay, now wait a minute. That's where we came. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I want to make sure we don't pass it up. I mean, I'm just saying, I don't think there's any tools on here. I don't think so. We'll find out. Be how we get all the way there, we need a shovel. That would absolutely suck. Oh my goodness, we got a ways to go. Okay, now. I mean, I just can't imagine being lost like this in the wild. It would absolutely be terrifying. You know? It would absolutely suck so bad. But people do it every day, you know what I mean? People get lost all the time up in the mountains and, you know, out at sea. And But I'm just saying that this type of, you know, scenario where you're out in a place like this where it's desolate, frozen wasteland, you got a few people you run into, but there's no conveyance of getting 
communications out or getting to a spot to where you could, you know, get yourself out. I mean, I know it happens to people every day. I mean, you hear it on the news. It was, what, two years ago. Does anybody remember any of that? Where the uh, elderly couple uh, got lost. Does anybody remember that? And they found them. Because, like, you know, they had a... Uh, you know, they had Alzheimer's real bad. Is that it? There you are. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Well, we know what was in the cache now, don't we? Shoot. <laughs> okay. Well, we've got a house over here. But I don't... It tells us to go up north, so that's the way we're going to go. We just got to keep an eye on our temperature. It doesn't look like we're freezing too bad. Our water and uh, food's not going down too bad. So, yeah, we're going to do all right, it looks like. Oh, God, I'm stuck. doing good we're doing good on our uh our daylight was still not even noon yet so that's awesome we just gotta look out for big bad wolf we'll give him the big m1 grand right to his face i can't run because i've got broken ankle or sprained or whatever it's called it looks like uh we could do some fishing if we wanted to get some fish but i don't think we're doing too bad on food
Goddamn gun. Get. What an asshole. I guess we had a laceration, didn't it? Why didn't that work? I don't know. I don't know why it didn't work. This we had no affliction, so. I know I hit that wolf, did I not? I could have swore I hit it. I thought I seen blood. But, uh, yeah, whatever. What the hell is this, a train? Now we're almost there. We'll sit here in this train, warm up, maybe eat a little bit. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Can't get up there. Ah, here we go. Right, what do we got? We got some scrap metal. We'll take that. This will come in handy. I don't need none of that. Oh, this poor guy. He froze to death. Oh, yeah. We'll take that. Thank you. Hell yeah. Take it, I guess. That poor guy, he froze to death. That poor feller. Right, well, we got some good stuff there. Not a whole lot, but we got something out of it. Let's see, where the hell are we here? I'm assuming that's the dam. I'm pretty sure it doesn't say dam, but damn that dam. Damn. The hell's over this way? Doesn't look like nothing. Whatever. I wish I didn't have to do that. Oh, hell, I could do that. Dead. Okay. It looks like we're getting there. Our temperature seems to be stabilized. We took a little damage there by the wolf. What an asshole. But we got nine rounds for our rifle, which is awesome. So, I mean, we're not going to run out of food. We can... We'll, uh... We can get our, uh... Flare gun, we're going to save our ammo. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Damn, oh, what the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck off, dude. <sighs> wow, I literally forgot to reload. Wow. Okay, whatever. Okay, there's the building there. Let's do some running. Oh, look at here. We got some houses. Damn. Okay. We got us Roger a. Damn. Hmm. This place has seen better days. We got in here. Excellent. Right? We'll take that and the matches too. Anything in the back of the truck? 
No, but we got some trailers. Let's get in here. All right. You got us a bed. Scrap metal. Uh, we got us a shelf. We can cut it up. Cardboard box. Nothing really in here, is there? Old mittens. Oh, we got some major soup. We'll take that. Look. Okay. Do that. Got us an orange soda. Let's go ahead and. Uh, what is this? Let's go ahead and drink us an orange soda. Oh, the shell. So, what is this? I'll go ahead and eat that as well. Okay. Looks like we got some meat. Doesn't look like we've got. Really much to what am I harvesting? Oh, our backpack's full too. Okay. But we do have a weight limit. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Um looks like pretty much all of our clothing is Let's go ahead and drink a little bit of this. There we go. We got ourselves a can opener. What is this? Cloth action. Oh. We'll go ahead and do that. Go ahead and make some more bandages because we're going to need it. Okay. It might even made me heavier. What the hell? Um. Don't know what to get rid of. Go ahead and drop that. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and drop four of these. There we go. Now we're not overweight. That'll be a little better. So we're going to only take what we really truly need. But we do have a gas barrel or a gas can or whatever. Okay. Guess let's go in here and check here. Oh god, it's another note. Then search the door, see if we got any more ammo. Nope. Read it. Brayer House Winter Crew warning. To Brayer House Winter Teams. Carter Dam reminder. We know some of you like to hang out in a dam during your breaks and off hours, but the whole facility is still no go the place is falling apart and unsafe to enter especially the lower dam if you need another reason our insurance won't kick it won't kick in if you hurt yourself in there you'll be on your own okay this okay we got us a key all right got ourselves an energy bar Let's go ahead and munch on that Search at locker. Don't need the water really. Could use this. Eh.
hate a sewing kit. Go ahead and drink that. Delicious. Must have been Mountain Dew. Or, I mean, I can't be saying that. Get in trouble. So, let's go ahead and see how our clothes are doing. Yeah, it's 42%. So, let's go ahead and repair it. Huh. I don't have no cloth. Well, I did just fancy. Uh, eh. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Hunting knife. So, how do we make a knife? Um... Do not know. Oh, uh, whatever. All right, so we're going to go ahead and save the game here. Back to story one. We're going to overwrite that. Okay. So this is going to be one of these games to where you're going to have to make a little progress. Stop. Save. Make a little progress. Stop. Save. It's going to be one of them. One of them games, man. Open the gate. Oh, shit. Mr. Bear? Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Mr. Bear. What the hell did he do? Knock me out? Uh. Can't feel my feet. Go ahead and make us a fire here. There we go. Add some more fuel. Add a piece of coal. And maybe some wood. There we go. Get our uh, beetsies nice and toasty. Go ahead and uh, how we doing on food and stuff? Good. Okay. Let's just go ahead and out right here. Okay, wow. That sucked. Just go ahead and uh Okay, yeah. Winter storm basically knocked our fire out. Let's go ahead and get in here. Hello? Anyone here? This place looks like it's been empty for a while. This stuff will come in handy.
Nothing. Nothing. Carter Hydro Dam. In the 1960s, a small hydroelectric dam was built on the Carter River. The project was engineered and financed by an industrial magnate, Richard Carter, who intended to use power from the dam to sustain a small town he planned to build for the growing workforce across the mining empire. Unfortunately, a combination of setbacks due to seismic activity, which resulted in several deaths and forced the shutdown of one of his mines and a drop in the price of coal and copper in the late 1960s, bankrupted Carter, who abandoned the nearly completed project in the 1980s. There were multiple attempts in modernize Carter Dam and bring it back online. But by then, changes to the local climate and the hydrodynamics of the Mystery Lake area, as well as external public pressure and support of the newly minted Mystery Lake Provincial, Provincial Park, resulted in Carter Dam being shut down for good in the late 1990s. Labor disputes and early eco -activ activism by a small group of environmentalists billing themselves the forest talkers oh god resulted in sudden closure of the dam primarily for the employees safety a skeleton crew of maintenance workers were actually trapped in the dam for days until mediators could extract them no violence was reported but the event served as served to galvanize the forest talkers who felt their success in keeping carter dam shut down Validated their continued work to protect Great Bear's further development and exploitations. Ugh. What we got here? Ain't got no lights. Oh, Seems like the quakes did some damage here. Must be what the old guy meant about unstable. I think I can use this. Probably getting heavy. We got some chips, but we don't want them. I can't see crap. I'm gonna have to get my light. Hang on. We gotta see what the hell's going on here. There we go. We got some more accelerant. No. Ah, here we go. There's the old toolbox here. Always something good in a toolbox. Well, I lied. Never mind. Control room. Okay, we've got some stuff in there. Let's see, can we get that orange drink? Thank, Thank goodness. You. Go ahead and drink this. Yeah, that's what I'd say too. But need us a nutty granola bar. All the crackers, we definitely don't want that. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. No. Okay, that's going all that way. We're not going that way yet. Ooh. Break that down. Trash can letter. I'm so uh, bleep blop looped off at you. You told me the forest talkers were legit and 
that we'd be doing good work out here. All I've seen is a ragtag bunch of dummies who are disorganized and have no plan. It's way too cold to be out here this time of year. And the wildlife. I mean, you didn't tell me there would be actual wolves out here. This is crazy. You can hear them outside at night. Howling. It's making me crazy. What are you going what are we going to do out here? People said Great Bear was hit hard by a quake. By the quakes, but man. I had no idea it was so stuck in I didn't I had no idea it was so stuck in the dark ages. You owe big you owe big time for bringing those supply if and if the weather doesn't warm up soon, I'm out of here and you will not be seeing me again anytime soon. Well, good. Get the f out of here then. What the? Okay. Forest talker, damn note. Bill, Jackson's seen some wolves around the area. La and last week, Emily said she thought she saw a bear skulking around the camp. I'm not convinced it isn't those Briar House thugs trying to scare us off. But just in case, keep the keep this flare gun handy. It's the closest thing we have to a firearm. What have we here? Hell yeah, I'll take all that. We'll definitely take all that. Drinking us some toilet water. Mmm. Delicioso. We'll go ahead and take all that too. Make sure we have plenty of water. Okay. So yes, we definitely need to be dropping some shite. Let's go ahead and... Go ahead and harvest this. Something else we don't need. I don't know. Um. I can't repair that because I need a sharpening stone. Um. Let's go ahead and eat this because it's getting ready to spoil. Um. I don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. We can drop that. We definitely don't need that. Um. Well, let's go ahead and drop the stones too, I guess. Go ahead and harvest that too. Okay. Uh, damn. I am really overweight. Holy sh... Which is that way. Damn, I really don't want to get rid of that either. Um... that I guess um that's not a whole lot I'll drop the scrap see it's still not gonna help me any 
Man, we've got to drop some shit. Man, I've dropped some stuff, but damn. Oh. That was one of them welfare parts. Grab those. That'll come in handy. Uh, come on, dude. You're busting my balls here. Guess we're going to clean our gun. Oh, there we go. Our gun's clean. I really don't know what to drop. I guess I'm going to drop these. Still heavier than shit. Guess let's drink that. What else is in here? This will come in handy. Looks like we're going to have to refill our lantern. Or, I didn't know. Uh, we need uh, need our fuel here. Our lantern. How do we? Ah, uh... oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Can I? Uh... There we go. Thank you. I guess let's go down into the turbine room, I guess. There's a dead dude down here. This stuff will come in handy. Wow, we got all kinds of ammo. So it looks like we're probably going to be fighting a uh, a pretty nasty little bear. Such a dirty boy. All right, well. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Why, why, why did you turn out your light? Don't do that. What the hell's wrong with you? Looks like this thing isn't opening unless I can get the power working again. That's a problem for later. I have to get those radio parts. I could use this. Oh, you're not going to, sir. You're going to put that up. Not touch it. Safety and shutdown notice. I'm sure this will come to as no surprise to you, but ever since seismic activity on the island has become such an issue, it's been almost impossible to run Carter Dam profitably. Besides that, the recent echoactivism, vism, blah, 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 orgasm, whatever, or let's call it what it is, terrorism, that's uh, sure, has introduced new risks that have brought plant and worker safety into question. Therefore, I'm sad to report that you, after years of trying to modernize Carter Dam and after the failed attempts of its original creator, the 
eponymous Richard Carter, it's finally time for me to also admit defeat, as he did those decades ago. No ambition of the of mine justifies putting your lives in danger. All workers will be transported out as soon as we can guarantee your safety. In the meantime, please keep an eye out for any suspicious activity in or around the dam. The so-called forest talkers are still active in the area. Thank you for your dedication to the cause. Yours truly, Robert Clark, CEO, Carter Hydro Energy. Well, that's good. Good for you, Mr. Carter. Piece of shit. Okay. Oh, anyway, we'll check up here and then we'll, we'll go upstairs first. It's always best to go up instead of down. Oh my god, this place is huge. Radio parts. What is this? Metal shelf. Oh shit, more stuff. I think I can use this. No, I don't think you can. You're not going to use it anyway. Papers. Nothing. Gosh. Still eat this. Ah, oh, God. Purple note. The penmanship of this note suggests the author was in a hurry. I left it in the cave, head back out from the dam, follow the river, look for a cave near a clearing with a hunter's blind. Um, uh, no, Aid what else? Station. I... That sounds like what the trapper needs. Needs this anymore. I hope they do. You're still in it, so they can all piss off. Must be something we can use to fix the short wave. Ah, damn it. end up being useful. Well, we got the safe open. Ain't no damn book. Get the hell out of here.
Ain't even that crappy. What's this? Ah. We'll take that. Elevator maintenance note. Carter Hydro Dam maintenance ticket. The elevator is acting up again. We've checked the me mechanicals and they seem fine. Must be something glitchy in the electrical system. Keep an eye on it. It's really the only way to the turbine room. If the elevator gets stuck, it'll be a long dark walk before we you can get back into the control room. Yeah, well, that's good. Good for them. Clean that bullshit. This will come in handy. Yes, it will. Damn, I've got a shit ton of ammo. Holy hell. Oh, yeah, let's unlock this bitch. Come on. Open it up. Thank you. Industrial strength antibiotics and very strong painkillers. Dangerous. You can get hooked on this stuff. Let's hope we don't need it. That's my drug for he dies. Okay. Well, let's hurry up. Let's get the hell out of here. I think I got the radio parts, don't I? Shit, let's go back up the top. Okay, nothing up here. I'd say saving that trapper is probably going to be our best bet. He'll probably help us fight the damn bear. That's going to try to eat our feet. Okay, there's nothing down here. Yeah, I think that was the radio parts we grabbed. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yep, find the radio parts. It's checked. Good to be okay. Yep, so we're good. We're good to get the hell out of here. Actually, is there a place to sleep? Because it's nighttime. I think it'd be our best bet to go ahead and sleep. If we can find a bed to sleep in. That might be actually kind of handy. Or... No, we can't get down there. Uh, well... Or, uh, can I not sleep? I cannot. Um, can we craft a bed? I cannot. Um,. Yeah, that's not going to be good because we actually need to sleep. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nah, shoot. We'll just go out to the bunkhouse. It's nighttime. It'll be all right. Just go ahead and go out there and run Better to the... Better check in on that old trapper. Before we freeze to death. Sir, I'm going go in here and go night night. Oh, yeah, right here, baby. I go to sleep for probably six hours. I wake up starving and thirsty as hell. But I think, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we'll probably end it. We'll just have to see where we're at. The hell, it's still dark. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and drink real quick. Let's just... Let's go ahead and eat uh, some energy bars. Get our energy up. And we're going to go ahead and save the game here to the Gamer Outcast Show.
Okay. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I guess this is where we'll cut this off at because it's over an hour. I hope you enjoyed the content. Please like and subscribe. You don't have to. We all have our own freedom of will. So I will see you on the uh, on the next episode. See you later.